Hey guys, tonight I'm doing a tutorial on how to get this dark grey blue film effect. This is actually a request from one of my viewers that actually only requested this probably a couple of days ago. But um, as I'm doing a lot of requests to kind of fill in the time uh, where I'm not posting much because as I've said in previous videos, I will be probably moving to Melbourne if you're watching this now. And um, yeah, I, so I won't have a lot of time to do other videos at this stage. So I'll be doing a few requests. So yeah, this is going to be hopefully like the rest of my tutorials that I've done recently. Pretty simple. Uh, so we're going to start off with a color. So we'll get a solid color up and then we're going to type in... 182269 and press OK. So it's a bright blue color, which is definitely what we want if we want to create a blue gray effect. So we're going to change the blending mode to color burn and then bring the opacity right down to 19%. So already that's really given the image a cooler tone overall and also darkened it up a bit. So as I said, it's a darkish kind of tone that we're after. So that uh, color burn is a really good blending layer for doing that. So we're going to bring up another solid color now, and this one's going to be 415060. And we'll press OK. So this one's more of a blue gray color, and this one's going to be set to lighten at 17%. So this one has filled in the shadows, so we're getting more of that grey tone overall in the image. Now we're going to bring up curves and we're going to put in some points. So the first point in RGB is going to be 6 and 0. The next point will be 46 and 44. The next point will be 142 and 131. Then the next point will be 220 and 210. And then the last point will just be 255. So now we're going to alter a couple of the channels here. So we're going to go into the reds first. And we're going to map out a few more points in the reds. So the first point will be 0 and 7. And this channel in particular with the red will affect the reds and blues of the image. So we really want to enhance the blue coloring of the image. So uh, the next point we're going to put in is 116 and 118. Then the next point will be 212 and 207. And the last point will be 255 and 239. Okay, so now we're going to go into the blues and we're going to change some more of the blue toning of the image in this channel. So this one's going to start off at 0 and 0 for the first point, which is already there. Then the next point will be 63 and 65. Then the next point will be 202 and 196. And then the last point will just be 255. So let's see what that curves layer has done. That's really given the image more contrast and just enhance those blue colorings a little bit more, but still keeping the skin tone slightly warm so it doesn't look too off. Uh, so we're going to bring up now another solid color because these are pretty much my favorite thing to add in Photoshop, as it seems, and selective color. Uh, so this color is going to be 398 D8C. We'll press OK. So this is kind of like a bright turquoise color. And we're going to set this color to soft light at 10%. So this color has just kind of given it a little bit more coolness in the overall image. It was starting to look a little bit pink in some of the tonings. So just by adding that, we've kind of given it a bit more of a greenish kind of tone overall. Uh, but we're bringing back the cooler tones in the image. Now we're going to bring up selective color. And we're going to go into the whites first. And we're going to change the cyans to plus 3. Then the magenta to minus 14. So just taking out all the pinks in the image. 
Now going to the yellows and we're going to change that to minus 19. So we're taking a little bit more warmth out of the image and the blacks will just leave at zero. Then we'll go into neutrals and cyan will be just put to minus one just to give it a slight amount of warmth because it's starting to look really quite green blue. Uh, so the next one we're going to change is yellow and we're going to minus four on that one just to bring the yellow out of the image because the yellow was quite prominent in the skin tone uh, because of the way that we were changing some of the solid colors around and the blending modes can do that sometimes. So now we'll change the blacks and cyan will be plus 14 just to bring up the blues in the shadows of the image and the magenta will be plus two just to kind of even that toning out a little bit more. Yellow will be minus one and we'll just leave black at zero. So we'll see what the selective color has done. So that's really made a difference in the shadows, particularly in the image. Uh, but it's just given it a little bit more depth and makes it look a little bit more uh, not so flat, I guess. Because sometimes when you use curves to kind of give it that film effect with lifting the shadows up and the highlights down, it can look a little bit too flat. So that's just kind of given it a little bit more contrast with color. And the final adjustment we're going to add is another solid color. And this one's going to be 5F6666. We'll press OK. This is more of a gray color. And we're going to change this one to soft light at 12%. So this one has just kind of evened the tones out a little bit more. It's only a really slight difference with this. But as you can see, when I zoom in, it's just kind of softened the photo a little bit and uh, just desaturated it slightly, especially in the, the dark areas with the blue. All right, guys, uh, the last step to this would generally be to add a grain because I usually like adding grain to my images. So we'll just duplicate the background and we'll go to filter, noise, add noise. So that should be fine at just at 20%, 21%, that's fine. Press OK. And we'll go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we'll change the blur to about one pixel. Press OK. So if we zoom right in, that's given it a real graininess, but we don't want it that grainy, so we'll just kind of lower the opacity to around 50%, maybe a little bit more actually, maybe at 40% on that one. And now we're all done. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to do a before and after. So this was the before and this is the after. And I'll zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. So I'll just make this window a bit wider. That's the before and that's the after there. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as usual. Uh, keep the requests coming because I am definitely looking for things to kind of uh, do in my spare time when I don't have much, I guess, I don't have many ideas for YouTube, um, which happens from time to time. So it's always good to have requests there on standby so I can do some of those. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.